Hey, what's going on guys? I want to do a quick video. Uh, if you've seen some of my past videos, I purchased a UXG Pro and I wanted to get the latest firmware. And in so I realized that you've got to be running the Unify Controller 6.1.16. Um, and I was only running 6.0.42. Uh, so I wanted to set up a separate Unify controller to get it off of something that I have in production. You can check out my other video where I set up a Unify controller on a MacBook Pro just to keep it off the, the controller where I have other stuff in production. Um, if you have a Unify controller already set up and you're trying to upgrade to the 6.1.16 or I think what's available now is .26, uh, you'll have to remove that. I tried to do the upgrade and it kept giving me an error that you're not allowed to upgrade from the 6.0.42, I believe is what I was running. Um, so I removed the Unified controller that I did in that last video and came over here and grabbed the um, the 6.1.26. Um, again, I'm running uh, on a Mac, so I came down here and grabbed the Mac version. Uh, I've got that all set up on my MacBook Pro. If you need help walk through that, you can check out the other video uh, where I walk through setting up a controller on a MacBook, uh, Mac OS. Once the controller, the new version controller was set up, I came over here to grab the latest version of the firmware for the UXG. Uh, keep in mind that if you upgrade from the UXG Pro, three dot three version you can't go backwards once you do this dot four version um, so i just want to put that out there so that everyone's aware of it what i did was um, i copied the url uh, down here where the manual upgrade instructions are and i headed over to the controller um, clicked on the uxg pro went over to settings or config and down to manage device and I pasted in the uh, URL for the latest firmware and click custom upgrade. Once I did that, it did the provisioning and when it was done, the version was 0.4.0. .0. Um, now I can do some more testing. You know, things have been a little slow. I've had some issues. Um, hopefully some future firmware versions can fix some of the bugs that's going on. Um, but hopefully I can get into some more testing now that now that I'm running the latest firmware and the up, most updated controller Hey, well, that's it for this video If you liked the video and it helped you in any way go ahead and leave me a comment below and Click the like button or subscribe to get notifications on future videos. That I do. I appreciate it. Thanks